Hey guys, I'm touching on some of the key differences between the deadlift and the clean pull and why you might want to emphasize one over the other. Here you can see the deadlift set up with the hips a bit higher. This is considered a conventional stance. So the feet are closer together, the hamstrings and lower back are emphasized. Since the deadlift is far more common than the clean pull, I'm not showing as much content on them. Deadlifts are one of the most basic compound lifts and a staple for beginners. If you're interested in maximizing your power for sports, however, or getting into weightlifting Olympic style, you'll need to find a qualified coach. Um, obviously, in person is best. I like the clean pull because it combines a lot of the properties of the clean without the turnover or pulling yourself under the bar. You can go super heavy, but you still get triple extension, and that's the point where the hips lock forward, you go up on your toes, and you shrug violently. This is akin to a jump and the same starting posture. Notice how the clean pull starts with the hips much lower. I've got my feet turned out further to get more leg drive. The bar make co makes contact with the mid thigh as I come up and the movement finishes off with a violent shrug. I'm personally testing these out for singles, doubles, and triples. So far, I like the singles and doubles the best. I'm also experimenting with slow eccentrics to work on posture alignment and build the lower back musculature more. While the deadlift can be a grinding and slower lift throughout the entirety of the movement, the clean pull must be powerful, although it can be cheated far more than, say, the clean pull or, or the, uh, <clears throat> the clean or snatch, excuse me. As someone whose favorite lift has always been the deadlift, I find myself getting a lot more out of the clean pull and emphasizing my squats and quad strength these days. The results from Olympic style weightlifting and the variations are far more profound and useful than the more basic lifts such as the deadlift, uh, just in my opinion and in my experience so far. The obvious caveat is that it takes a lot more work to dial in these techniques. You can learn a deadlift in like one session and start adding weight immediately. The clean pull, however, requires a lot of lightweight work to get the form just right before actually pushing yourself. If you're not going to take the necessary steps to find a coach and get all the details correct, I personally wouldn't bother with it until you are ready. So we've got hips starting lower, more quad involvement, powerful hip extension, a necessary speed element, and a shrug. You'll notice also that I keep my arms straight throughout this clean pull, but many prefer to do a pseudo clean high pull where they pull the bar up as high as possible bending the elbows. I'll, I'll probably experiment with that sometime as well. Um, versus the deadlift where the hips are higher, low back is used more, the lockout can be more of a grind, heavier weights can be used. Also in all these Olympic variations, I like the squat shoes so they put my hips in a better angle for starting positions whereas I can get away with barefoot in the deadlift. I'm just highlighting the profound differences between these two movements because I mistakenly used to think they were pretty much the same. And I think most casual trainees don't notice the subtleties either. So hopefully this gives you some insight into how different they are and who might want to do one versus the other. If you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to reach out and I'll answer to the best of my abilities and from my experience. Thanks guys.